Hi everyone, my name is Angie Tawari and today I'll be guiding you through a yoga flow that is focused specifically on improving your posture. So if you're sat down at a desk all day or if you just notice that you have tight shoulders, a tight lower back and any tension when you're seated and you want to generally improve your posture and look a little bit more upright and tall, then this is the yoga flow for you. So when you're ready, let's get into a comfortable position on our mats, you can be kneeling, you can be cross-legged, whatever's good for you. And then when you get there, we'll close our eyes together. And we'll take a big breath in. And exhale through the mouth, let it all go. Good, a few more like this. Big breath in through the nose. And exhale, release. Last one and let go. Good, and keep the eyes closed. Just taking the time to arrive and to be aware of your state of mind and where your thoughts are. Taking some time to notice how busy you feel in your head or if you feel really relaxed and calm already. And telling yourself that you're going to act with compassion and kindness throughout this entire practice. And listen to your body. And know when you've taken it too far or know when you can push yourself a little further. And then slowly begin to flutter the eyes open. Okay, so we want to really focus in this practice on our shoulders and in our lower back. And that kind of hole through the spine, like we want to make sure the spine is is taken care of and so we're gonna start on all fours. So make your way slowly onto all fours. Hands are on the ground, knees are on the ground. Some people have the toes tucked but you can have them flattened. And we're gonna start with a simple cat-cow. So hands are directly under the shoulders. You can see they're tracking in line and the glutes in line with the knees. And we're gonna just drop the belly, inhale, lift the chest through. Exhale, dome the back create this curve through the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, lift, look up. Exhale, round. Inhale, up. Feeling into the spine. Exhale, round. Inhale, up. As you come up, draw the shoulders back, pull the heart to the front of the room. Exhale, round, create a really nice dome. Feel it in the shoulders. Come back to neutral position. And then from your neutral position, we're gonna come into Anahatasan, which is our heart opening pose. Now I want you to stay where you are, keep your glute up, glutes up in the air, so the bum is still up, and we just walk our hands towards the front of the mat as far forward as we can go. Now, the tendency is that the, the bum wants to come forward. We want to keep it up and high. You might get here, you might want to drop your forearms, you might drop your chin down. And then staying here. Gaze is ahead, bum is in the air. Really nice opening through the chest here. Deep breath in. And exhale. Staying with your breath. Good, stick with it. If you want to take it a step further, you can see if you can slide the hands even further forward. If you want to back out of it, slowly back out. So listen to where you need to be, practicing satya, truth, being truthful with yourself. Take a breath in. Slowly lift up onto the hands. Now, if you've got a block or if you've got some books or a cushion or a blanket, you're going to place that in front of you. You're going to place your hands down. You're going to do exactly the same movement, pushing the hips back, sliding the hands, maybe the forearms down. And just see how it differs when you use a little bit of support underneath the hands and the arms. 
See if you notice that you can feel it in a different part of the body, maybe to the backs of the shoulder blades. And then slowly release, come back up. Good. Coming back onto that all four position, we're gonna come into thread the needle pose. So in all fours, take an inhale, right arm comes up, lift it open to the sky, exhale, draw it through. So the hand's coming into this little loop. And then we drop the whole right side of the body to the ground, drop the right side of the head to the ground, and then press into the left hand. So we're creating a bit of a rotation. Back to the breath. Maybe close the eyes. Practicing pratyahara, sense withdrawal. So we're withdrawing our sense of sight, so maybe we can notice our sense of touch a little bit more. Maybe we can feel into where this is tight and where this feels soft. Good. Stay where you are. Now, if you'd like to take it a step further, pick up this left hand, wrap it around the body and come and rest it on the lower back. Or maybe it comes to the crease of the inner right thigh and then draw the left shoulder back. So you're getting a rotation of the chest and a little bind here as well. Breathe in slowly. If you took the bind, we're gonna release it. Bring the left hand down by your face. Press into the left hand. Draw the right arm all the way up to the sky. Another inhale. Exhale, place the right hand down. Inhale, left arm comes up, sweep it open, fingertips together. Exhale, draw it through. Left side of the body to the ground, left side of the head touches the mat. Good. Press into the right hand, keep the bum exactly where it is, and breathe here. Connection with your breath, connection with your body. Should be getting into the tops of the shoulders, upper back, into the neck. If you'd like to take the bind, if you did so on the other side, I recommend you do on this side too. We pick up the right hand, bring it all the way around, place it on the back, or maybe into the crease of the upper left thigh. And when you're there, right shoulder draws up and open. Make sure there's not too much pressure on your head. If there is, you can always back out a little bit. And back to the breath. Good. Doing so well. When you're ready, release the right hand. Bring it all the way down by your face. Press it into the ground. Draw the left arm all the way up, open it up to the sky, and then drop it back down, good. Child's pose, balasan, knees out the same distance as the mat, feet come together to touch, Hin hinging forwards at the hips and reaching the arms as far forward as you'd like to go, maybe dropping the head down to touch the mat. Just sinking into this pose. So you should notice in every asana that we take, there's always a little bit of movement. There's always a bit of room that you might feel opens up to you when you expand your breath. So as you breathe deeper, you may notice, I can feel my hips opening a little more. I can feel that my hands can walk a bit further forward. My shoulders can drop out to the side more. I can release tension in my forehead. So try not to be totally still during a pose, but actually watch what happens and what unravels in your body.
take an inhale, lift the head, gaze ahead of you, bring up your fingertips and press the fingertips into the ground. And then exhale, try to drop the chest down, but keep the arms and the elbows lifted. Shoulders are relaxed. Fingertips press. We're just getting into the underside of the arms. Inhale, press, lift the chest, gaze ahead. Exhale, drop the chest. Keep the head and the chin gazing ahead. Good. Inhale, walk the hands slowly back. All the way in. Bring the knees together to touch. And we come back into the way that we started the practice. You could be in your seated position. We place the hands on the lower belly. And just observe how you feel. Any difference, any changes you notice. Just being aware of whatever they are. Take a deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth, let it go. When you're ready, blink the eyes open and come back to the room. So I really hope you enjoyed that short 10 minute flow on improving your posture. And hopefully there are some tips and tricks there that you can use in your day to day. So even if you are sat at a desk, you could mirror that cat cow position from a seated posture. You don't have to do it on all fours and hopefully you feel a little bit less tight in that shoulder, neck, through the spine, all those areas that can get a little bit tense when we slouch and we hinge over our phones or our computers um, or if we're just sat down all day. So come back to this video whenever you feel you need to and I'll see you in the next class.